Yeah, the sponsors, the proud sponsors of today's Watch Along on Anfield Agenda. And One Football has got you covered with all the fixtures, statistics, augmented reality, video feature, breaking news stories, everything that you need. One Football has got you covered. There is a link in the description to download the One Football app. That will bring you straight to a landing page and then it will decide whether you're an Android user or whether you're a good person like me who uses it. Hey everyone, welcome back to Anfield Agenda. I don't know if you can see me because I'm outside the stadium and it's pitch black, but uh, I'm by the main stand. What a game that was. I'm looking like Casper the friendly ghost in this bitch. But oh my goodness, 4-0, three wins, ten goals, zero goals conceded. Uh, just perfect, mate. Absolutely perfect. There's people looking at me hello. Um, <laughs> and, uh, like I'm trying to think of where I can start because the first half was just uh, you know, we obliterated them. There was not a chance we silenced their fans. I was by the away fans today actually, and straight away they were up for it, but then straight away we silenced them even more and it was perfect. Um they never opposed any threat. You know, Armstrong had a chance in the first half, which I just didn't think it well it was offside first of all, so you've got to attribute that to our defensive work. Um but other than that, they never even had a sniff, mate. Even Virgil van Dijk today, I thought it was best performance probably all season. He was just all over the place. Uh, Kanate, I, I didn't think he was the best of the two centre-backs, but I still thought he'd done his job. I thought he got a goal in the first half. That was given offside, but apparently it was Mane um, off the set-piece. You know, it could have been five, six or seven today. And it's just about building momentum. It's just about getting those clean sheets, just about getting those results. And then over time... You know what wins you leagues? Midfield battles win you games, and then like long winning streaks is what wins you titles. Especially when you're competing against Man City, when you're competing against Chelsea. So when you're seeing Thiago step up yet again today to prove to people that he's absolutely not a flop, it's perfect. And then when you're seeing Frigga, even Mane and Salah, who never got on the score sheet, surprisingly enough, still done the business. They still had a good all round game for me. Diogo Jota probably had his best performance in a Liverpool shirt this season, and that's saying something with how good he's been. I thought out of him and Van Dijk were maybe the man of the match. Fair play to Verge as well for not celebrating their goal, you know, because the Southampton fans were booing Verge all game. And they've got a little bit of distaste towards Verge, so it's fair enough that even through all that, he's still got the professionalism to not go ahead and um, celebrate against this former side. Luis Suarez could take notes. But, yeah, mate, Robertson coming back in, and he's been having all the talk about him or Shimakas. The way he performed today, he was like the best left-back in the world. Again, he's playing like that week in, week out. I am sorry, Kostas, you Greek god. You will not be able to get into this team, because, again, he is the best in the world for a reason. Um, I want to make sure that I've got given respect to anyone. The Jap Japanese Messi came on for a few minutes, Oxley came on when he did, I thought he'd done well, uh, James Milner just shored things up at the back, thought Henderson had a great first half, uh, and again, it was just dominant, and that's what you want to see against sides like Southampton teams that you should be dominating against, so amazing Liverpool fans, be sure to smash a like on this video and subscribe and all that other business, Anfield Agenda is making huge, huge moves, while Liverpool are getting huge, huge results, so um, buzzing about that one, it'd be really appreciative if you could smash a like, subscribe, and let me know your man of the match in the comments down below because I'm kind of stuck between Virgil van Dijk and Diogo Jota so who do you think Ed you see anyway sorry that one far from me face has not been seen this video and this one's being bright as Casper the friendly ghost but we move I'll see you all later peeps peace out